mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town Springs. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you, but there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That's why they took my brother and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. You think something here's important? What, the numbers? I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right. Hello? Is anybody here? A roasting bar. This place really makes me want a coffee. But I guess that's the point.
The gazebo? You think there's something there? Ma'am! Here! Get inside the light! Oh, they don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit. A cop. Should I lie? I... kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? I'm... looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. What's going on here? What are those shadow... people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. Turning people into coffee monsters. The government? Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? Something in the coffee is doing this? Really? Took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. This should make things easier. Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. You still with me? Good to hear. This must be the warehouse. But how do I get inside? This is a restricted area. Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Please insert passkey. Sorry, I lost it. Sure. What's the question? Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission.
a fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress! What's going on? Hi, everyone! Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner? Your bird sanctuary. And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh. I don't mind. Oh, comparing yourself to me won't help. You gotta find what you wanna do and do it. I believe in you. Wow. You just changed my entire way of looking at the world. Thank you. No problem. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that rider of yours. You two are destined for each other. We sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent 
and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Hi! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Is Knott's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? What can I get you? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the Writer's Crime Trilogy. I'll grab you a copy from the back. any pages it's me your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep i'm in danger please my number one fan you're the only one who can save me oh, oh my gosh don't worry i'm on my way my beloved writer was in terrible danger and i had to rescue him the stakes had never been higher Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. <laughs> my accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly, and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. my moment, my chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. Run the diner while you're gone! There will be way worse at it! Tell him we all love his books! Hey, you gotta save literature! You're the only one calm and graceful enough to save him! I was leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. is that
are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say. If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have the power of love. Oh, is that right? Well, you're gonna need more than your feelings if you want to stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's book. <laughs> The twins motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my rider and his kidnapper. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. 
We join this lone operative, many versions of him, in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different. In Night Springs. Tonight's reality bending episode Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop him. And I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's so cool we are making this shot. Let's dive in. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean? It's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening! Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man, totally. So, the Vortex and the Gadget... I'm... <sighs> Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here but it helps me travel through realities? Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a LumiVista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left 
the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Go ahead, Sean. You should have everything you need. This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. He finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. What the fuck? What the fuck? I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before, but... That's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this. It's true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> Wait. 
Where the hell am I? More multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. But what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy. The other me had hidden away from this trailer. Handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. Okay, okay, I hit it. It's, it's, it's safe, it's, it's safe. The creek's deep in the forest, all the way in the water. It's safe. Now get the fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all of the versions. Me. Yes. Yes! He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? This shit. I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. Versions of myself. Don't try anything. I've got a gun. It's all true. It's no hoax. 
No video game. It's really happening. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get out of it. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. same warning sign as before. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. <laughs> Something to do with door? A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Door had killed him already. Not a happy thing. <laughs> 